Let's circle back and say we wanted to add content, but let's say that we're creating a site that is uh, meant for, say, uh, listing jobs, a job, uh, sort of a job site, a, a Craigslist, but only for job listings, something like that. Um, that seems like a very plausible thing you might want to create. Um, what is it that we want to create in order to do a new job? listing. Well, it could be a basic page. Those tend to be things, as it says, like an about page, something that's fairly static on the shit page, on the on the site, maybe a help page. Um, it's not a blog entry. I guess we could treat it like that. And if we were using WordPress to do this, we'd have to because we're really limited to two kinds of types in WordPress, the page and the blog entry. It's not a forum topic, although it might have something in common with that. It's not a gallery. Um, it's not a news, it maybe is kind of a news item, press releases or announcements, but we have some specific things we want to say about these things. It's not a poll. So really what we need to do is is create, um, create new kinds of content. So right now we have um, a, uh, a, a listing of all the content on the site. Um, what if we wanted to uh, go beyond that and we wanted to look at the content types and we wanted to add a new content type. So one of the nice things about Drupal is you're not limited to the content types that come packaged with it or packaged with its um, modules. It's uh, it's it's the modules that can be added. You can do your own. So let's do a job listing. And what is this content type? It uh, is a listing for a job. Makes it pretty clear. Um, and um, uh, we'll leave this for now. Uh, most of these are, are pretty straightforward, whether they allow comments, um, or, you know, whether it's going to be displayed and, and whether the person who entered it is going to be displayed. Actually, for a job listing, we don't need that. Um, whether by default it'll be printed or published, rather. Promoted to the front page is just what it sounds like, whether, like our poll, it will show up on the front page. All of these things seem pretty straightforward and we don't um, we'll have the main menu when you see it and that's great so let's go ahead and save the content type and we're gonna do save content type and add fields so every content type has to have fields if you think about it for a blog entry while we're waiting here a blog entry might have for example the title and the body which we have here but it probably has an entry date and the author it might have a, an associated image for example we're going to add a new field because this is uh, a uh, for this node. We're going to have some other fields that we don't have yet. Um, let's do uh, location and uh, the name of that's the label, and we'll call it field location. That works for me. Um, and then what is this thing? Um, well, in fact, we could add to this if we had certain modules in, we could actually have the field type and have it be location. For now, if this, by the way, looks a little bit familiar, um, this is a lot of these are things that you might find in a uh, database as the type that you could store. Um, and it's a text field, so that's what we're going to use. So now we have a, that as a, as a new field. We'll save it. And the field setting will say it's a maximum of 255. That'll work. That's fine. So now we've got um, location, and and we'll say uh, this is where the job is. Is it a required thing? Yes. Um, is it plain text? Yes. And we'll just do a box with 60 in it. That's fine. And but the, the do we have a default value? We don't have to. But we'll just say uh, that maybe it doesn't have a uh, uh, maybe you you can maybe it, it's a virtual located job that you can do it online. So let's save the settings. So now we've got location, title, body. What else? Uh, maybe we could do a salary. Um, uh, we could add an existing field, but we don't have very many right now. So we're going to stick with with ones that we're creating salary field salary um, and this is let's say an integer and um, how are we going to enter it as a text field that's fine and we'll save it and we need again go through that same process again um, that's fine we don't need any special settings for that um, salary help text uh, this is how much you can expect to be paid. In this case, we won't have it be a required field. 
We could have it be minimum or maximum, but since it's a required field, we're fine. Prefix suffix. We don't need this stuff. We don't need the default value. So we'll save the settings. So again, if we have that minimum maximum, it does some of that uh, pre-screening to make sure that people are entering things that make sense. Okay, so we have a very, very basic content type here. Obviously, for a real job set, a real uh, job listing, we might want to have a contact information for the person to apply. We might want to have a set of requirements. There's a whole range of things we might want to have. But now, when we go to content, we can add content, and we have added to this whole set something called a job listing. And when we click on that, we can now say uh, food taster. We can say uh, taste food for the prof um, is what you have, should have to be doing for it. Location, let's say uh, Paris and salary is uh, 90,000. That seems fair. Um, does it need a menu link? All of the things that we're used to for a node and we can publish it. And remember that by default, this gets uh, pushed to the front page. So in a moment here, when we go, we'll see that it's showing up on our front page. Note that this view edit is only because I'm signed in as an administrator.